Hey admins! Welcome back to this month's edition of What's New for G Suite Admins. Shoshana here, and I'm excited to share with you the feature updates from December 2018. Let's get started. And here's the headline news from December. We're adding the ability to view and filter G Suite reports by organizational unit in the Admin Console and the Reports API. To view a report or an audit for a specific OU in the Admin Console, filter using the menu on the left. When you use the Reports API, outputs will include OU information. You can use this to report on and analyze by OU. See the Help Center to learn more about account activity logs and how to use the Reports API. And here are our admin updates. The following updates will help improve your visibility into and reporting on what's happening in your organization. Let's start with new features added to the G Suite Security Center to improve performance and functionality. You can now save custom charts to your security dashboard to ensure that it focuses on what's most interesting to you and your organization. You can also view new email log events that show information around what happens to emails after they're sent or received. This will help remove the guesswork when dealing with Gmail incidents and give you a better understanding of what's happening within your organization. Check out the Help Center to learn more about the security dashboard and how to use email event logs. You can now get more detailed and helpful information about emails that have been marked as spam. The Email Log Search tool will now show the reason an email was flagged as spam, as well as other warnings users may see about suspicious emails to help you understand the steps that our spam classification system takes to protect end users and assist in managing email traffic. To access the tool, from the Admin Console homepage, go to Reports, Audit, Email Log Search. When using the Email Log Search to locate spam, You'll now receive detailed data about the spam and annotations about the messages like the reason an email was or was not marked as spam, or when anomaly banners are triggered by suspicious attachments or a phishing attack. See our Help Center to get more details on the email log search tool. At the end of 2018, we removed two notification methods in the G Suite Admin Console, the bell icon in the Admin Console web interface and push notifications from the Google Admin apps for Android and iOS. You'll still be able to get all account-related notifications via email. Use our Help Center to learn more about how to set up and manage email alerts. We're making it easier for you to manage groups in the Admin Console. Previously, group settings had to be managed through a separate workflow at groups.google.com. When you open a group in the Admin Console, you'll see helpful cards that show snapshots of key information. When you click on any of the cards, you'll see more details and have new options to manage the group. We've brought the 10 most used settings from groups.google.com directly into the admin console so you can make key changes without disrupting your workflow. This allows you to quickly control access settings, membership settings, and who can join a group. The members card provides a comprehensive way to manage group members, including better ways to find, add, and manage group members quickly and easily, like bulk uploading members through a CSV file, quickly adding new members individually, or filtering the member list by member role. See our Help Center for more on managing groups. And speaking of groups, you can now use Google Groups to control access to G Suite apps and additional Google services to make sure your users have access to the right apps. Groups will make it possible to control access by other organizational elements and turn on apps or services for groups, including departments or job functions, specific seniority levels, or different geographic locations. Group controls can be best used to complement your current OU and organizational settings to make sure specific groups in your organization have access to an app. To get started, from the Admin Console homepage, go to Apps, G Suite, or Additional Google Services. From here, you can search for and select a group in the panel on the left, select services individually or in bulk, or turn services on or off for the specific group. See our Help Center for more details on G Suite and Google services with groups. You can now create, edit, and manage web apps through the Admin Console with Advanced Mobile Device Management enabled. This will help your organization create and use web apps more quickly and efficiently. 
Web apps turn a web page into an app on your users' phones and can be used to ensure that your users have access to key resources on their mobile devices. This makes the web page easier to find and simpler to use on a mobile device. You can find the web app section in the admin console by going to Device Management, App Management, Manage Apps for Android Devices, Manage Whitelisted Apps, Add Web Apps. From here, you can create new web apps, whitelist an app for some or all of your users, and edit an existing web app. We're making it possible for you admins to view a more complete picture of the desktop and mobile devices used by employees in your organization. To see a list of the devices that your organization owns, you simply need to upload a CSV file listing those devices and their serial numbers in the admin console. Previously, you could only upload Android devices, but now you can add endpoint verification devices for Mac, Windows, or Chrome as well. These devices will appear in the company-owned devices list and show as company-owned when you click for more device details. Well, that's it for December's updates. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, save the playlists, and also check out our G Suite release calendar and What's New newsletter to stay informed. This has been Shoshana with What's New for G Suite Admins December Edition. Thanks for watching.